Alright, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power. Which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Recha, Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh is the true name of His only begotten Son. And there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and others of the great Muslim who are well, who taught this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh. And on his citation to the elect document, doing these words and sincerity and the truth. So I'm I'm gonna entitle this, you know, pretty much something like the Lord is lighting that fire up under Jake, man. Okay. The Lord is lighting that fire under Jake. To where now they're actually the elect that is. They're actually uh, uh, not. They're not tarrying anymore, which is a major sign that this is it. So this is Ecclesiasticus or Sharak chapter five or seven, which says, "Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day." So the whole for elect, the whole for one third that has been putting it off from day to day. They're starting to wisen up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And they're turning to the Lord now. You know? Oh, I got a um um certain family member, man, you know, with your praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. I told um you know, told a lot of my family that uh pretty much everything that's happening now that it was gonna be happening through through the spirit party I bash my shot and through um our elder apostles and elders on down who we learned from I was telling them all this was gonna happen like four, five, six, seven years ago, man. No not so like and not so yeah, probably, probably, I, for, I forget how long ago, man, but years ago, man, you know, I don't even know how long I've been in the truth, man, not not even trying to do the math right now, but, you know, been telling him, and then he hit me, man, like, I hit him again, man, you know, gave, uh, you know, some of my family that, that last, uh, you know, warning, man. Do this spirit power you how about my shot? And he was like, yeah, man. He was like, I remember you were saying all that. I didn't even really remember. But then, then, then it came to my remembrance. It's like, yeah, man, I remember you were saying that, man, long ago. He was like, I didn't actually, he said, I didn't think. It's like, I didn't think that it would, it would come this quick, you know? He's like, but damn, the end is here. I didn't think it was going to come that quick. See? So Jake really does have that mentality of, I'm going to try and get in at the last second. You know? But uh, anyway, through the sparing power, Yahweh Bash from out shy. You know, he finally hit, uh, hit me, man. Like, yo, I got to, you know, talk to you about that, man. You know, so all praise and all glory to you. How about Shimmy How Shy? Alright. But um which like regular Jake, but now he, he look Lord willing looking to repent. Why? Because the Lord is lighting that fire up under Jake's ass, man. Like look, it's now or never. So let me read it again. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter five or seven. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. So you got certain elect men that's been putting it off from day to day, but now they see that this is it. And the the last of them are wisening up and finally getting down with their how about Shemao shot. Okay? 
It says, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance. <sighs> so I can, man, it's 4.11 a.m., not, not p.m. Okay. I had a goofy, <laughs> had a goofy ass dream man that that woke me up you know pretty much it was still edifying man all right pretty much it was a Ciroc Ecclesiastic is 12 and 10 type dream all right but anyway um yeah let me just make sure that I was on, on yep yep con but um right so Hey man. You know the 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 eleventh hour Israelites are coming in. <laughs> I remember um the elder Elder Zacharon he was like, you know it's you know it's the end when it's a car start coming in. You know, but hey, they're, they're coming in, man. You know, the last, the last of the elect, you know, is coming in, Lord willing. Right? Hey, hey man, that's, man, that, that's, that's, that's beautiful to me, man. You know, so, um, because you asked a kiss. Or well, Sirach, chapter 51, verse 24. I'll we'll start at verse 23. It says, draw near unto me, you unlearned, and dwell in the house of learning. Right? Now is the time of learning. You better learn as much as you can. And you better learn it quick. Because whatever you know is what you know. And knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. So, what happens with the more knowledge and wisdom you have? That could mean the more stable you could be. Right? Then you got to have faith. So now is the time to learn real quick. Verse 24, because it says, wherefore are you slow? Right? Why are you slow? Why are you moving slow? Considering the burning wrath, all right, of the multitude before you. Considering Esau is going to come down as a madman, sparing none. And we need all the faith, wisdom, and knowledge and connection with Yahweh by Hashem and Shai that we can get. Why are you moving slow? Alright? Why are you still not watching the apostles and elders of Great Millstone? Why are you still not taking heed, man, to the flock? Why are you still not Fasting, praying, okay, studying, reading, when this is the end. Why are you moving slow? Now is a time where if you're still moving slow, you're going to get left. You ain't going to make it to the past the doors of repentance. It says, and what say you of these things, seeing your souls are very thirsty? All right? Yeah, man. But, uh. Let me also jump to um, uh, Amos 8 and 11, man, because, look, we're going to be the new celebrities, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem HaShah. Now, are we looking for fame? Do we care about fame? Do we do this for fame? No. But is that still going to uh, 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 be given out to us? Yeah, man. But it's just like Moses. Moses didn't want to be the top man. He said, "Lord, like please choose somebody else." He, he wasn't. He wasn't. Uh, um. You know, he wasn't playing. I'll say. He really didn't want. He really didn't want that. He was like, "Lord, please choose somebody else." Cause like, I'm not even an eloquent speaker like that. Please. And the Lord was like, "Look, I made man's mouth." Right? You probably say you're gonna do what I said, and I'm gonna give you help, your brother Aaron, to help you be that dude. 
And then he actually said it again. He's like, Lord, please. And then the Lord got then the Lord got tight with him, got a little upset with him. Like, alright. Now you getting me a little tight. See, so now you get me a little uh upset. See, it's the same thing with us, man. You know? Those that don't want it is going to get it. Those that fiend for it, like these damn sellout ass two thirds, clowns, can't wait. It's going to be snatched away from them, man. Right? So, anyway, it says, Behold, the days come, say, if the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. See? Alright. So, if they hear that Jay-Z is in town... Won't they run to and fro to see where he's at? If they hear that they had Kanye West when he was doing his church thing, man, he was selling out arena. I mean, he was so um pretty much not selling out, but he was occup occupying so much fucking space. There was so much people coming out to see him, man, just to see Kanye West. Not to listen to a sermon, but just to see Kanye West. Because he's a celebrity, because he's famous. But now they're going to be running out looking for us. Like we famous. Okay? Like we celebrities or something, man. And one one thing that's very... Somebody who's very lucky through the spirit party, how about Shaman Shah, is our families, man. You know, those of us that's, you know, might have been tight with our family, man, you know, they ain't too damn wicked. They're not too, too wicked. You know, you see, you see potential in them. And they got your number. When shit get real, 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 real. All right. Out here. And uh, they remember, like he said, like, 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 like my family told me, man. He said, I remember you were telling me this, you know, man, long ago. Now it's finally here. He said, I didn't think it was going to come this fast. See? So, praise and glory to you. How about Shemal Shah, man? But the thing is that when, you know, we're not out there anymore and, um, and the internet is shut down, which if you didn't see it, I don't know, man, but check it out. Um, the brother from Las Vegas did a listen on it. That, uh, that Congress, Congress passed a bill, man. All right, that the internet, um, gets gets in control. The 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 content that comes out of the internet gets controlled by a select few men, about a uh, uh, nineteen select few men. So when the word ain't on the internet no more and the prophets ain't out there no more, right? It's still pure craziness. The power ain't shut yet. It's going to be phone calls made. It's going to be phone calls made, man. From family, from friends. Yo, what was that? Um, Oh, my. And what? They are so lucky through the spring party. How about my shot to have your number? Because verse 12 again, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. See? They're going to run to come and find us, but they're not going to find us. But only a select few still got your number. See? So you're. That your, your your phone about to be jumping. 
right? You even look at the apostles. You even look at Apostle Gabar. He said 20 years his old chick ain't hit him up, man. And she hitting him up 20 years. A lot of elders were saying that, man. Women starting to hit them up out the blue. Old woman, ex-woman. Hey, the brother in our camp. Brother in my camp. Collab. GMS Chief Cornerstone, man. Women hitting them up. Okay. So, and now look, I got I got family members, man, that's hitting me up. Like, yo, it's it's time now, man. I, I did my bullshit, you know. And now I see I can't do my bullshit no more. I, I gotta get down now, or I'm gonna or I'm gonna die. See? How they hit you up? They still got your number. So. We come into them times, man. We always been saying that the doors of repentance is almost closed. But now, it's, it's, that shit is pretty much to the point where, yo, somebody be like, yo, yo uh, close the door. So it's already closed, but it's not closed all the way. It takes one push, and that's it. We at that point, man. Right? So that's why. Just like if somebody got family member got got Kanye West, he got a direct line of Kanye West, or he could call um anybody, man, Fifty Cent, or he could call uh Jay Z, right now. Yeah, I'm gonna call Jay Z right now. He think that he's lit. Yo, my cousin Jay Z. You know, I'm saying he trying to bag a girl. He could call him, call Jay Z up on the phone. You would consider that he's lucky. You would consider he's he's lucky, man. That his brother is 50 Cent or his brother is uh TI. Nah, they're not the lucky ones no more. That don't that's vain now. Now those are the lit the ones that's that's a family of, of the prophets, man. You know? Because they got our number, they could call us now while everybody else is running to and fro. They they got a direct line to the prophets. Come on, it don't get no better than that. <laughs> it don't get no better than that, man. You got a direct line to the prophets. All right? So, um, yeah, man. This is like a little testimony slash lesson. All right? Ain't nothing new. You know? So, hey, man, that's that's beautiful, man. I'm thinking the Lord. It's been probably out about my shot. He's definitely good peoples, man. Definitely good peoples. You know? So, uh, Lord willing, man, this was edifying. You know? We gonna be them dudes, man. Alright? Celebrities, you had your fun. You lived deliciously along with Esau. Alright? Um, but now, you're done. Let me, let me get that last. I don't want to make this too long, man. You know, but I also don't want to rant. I want to get the scriptures, man. So like it. Don't just want to, you know. I want to jump straight to the point. Daniel 12 and 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life. And some sh to shame and everlasting contempt. See? So that's. It's, it's, it's role reversal, man. It's trading places. You know? So to speak. Right? You had your fame. You had your fun. You had your Lamborghinis with the suicide doors. You had your music video girls. You know, you had your uh, um, diamond chains. You know, all that. But now your time is up. You sold your soul for naught, my man. All right, sorry. You did it to yourself. And now we're going to be them next dudes through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashamal Shah. Oh, one more scripture, man. You know, um, Zephaniah, to show you that we're going to get. Fiend from Yahweh Shai. Zephaniah 3 and 19. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted, and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Alright, Shalom.